Edge. He's got the biggest song on the edge right now with Winter Gordon. It's called Take Me Away. You would remember his uh, first track as well. It's Marvin Priest in the studio. Hey, Hello. Hey, what Hello. up, what up, what up, what up? How what you up? feeling? Uh, so, so. I've, I just come in like last week from New York from 90 degree weather. Oh, beautiful. And now I came here and I caught a cold. How about oh. that? Because oh. <laughs> they got a heat wave over there at the moment. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Like it was so hot. It was like 90 degrees. And it's hot. bloody freezing here. Like it took ages for winter yeah. to actually kick in. And, and the last here. week has I been know. ridiculous. Oh, give me 90 degrees, which of course is uh, Fahrenheit, not Celsius. That'd be almost boiling point. But give me that any day. <laughs> exactly. And this crap we're putting up with. Surely exactly. Australia's got to be better than your homeland, though. Oh, yeah, always, always. Well, the weather here is normally always good. But for some reason, since I come back this winter, it's been a bit chilly. Like, <laughs> last year happen? wasn't as cold. This last happened. year wasn't so as you, cold. So you grew up in Britain? Yes, in yeah. London, South yeah. East London. Okay, yeah. and, and this happens. I've, I've spoken to other pommies. Mm-hmm. They've come out here, yep. and uh, you're like, oh, your winter's nothing like our winter. And I've been to London. Yep. It's, it's nothing like it. But eventually, you climatize. Yep, exactly. And you are now used to the warm weather <laughs> Australia's got. And this winter is cold for you. Exactly. But it's like in London when everyone's like, oh, my God, heat wave on Facebook. There's all these updates. Yeah, and it's, it's 20 like 20 degrees. degrees. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you want to come to Australia in the first place? Well, I came here in 2008 to um, do a ragamuffin show, mm-hmm. um, the tour. Uh-huh. And uh, I just fell in love with the place. And yeah. I, my, me and my dad was on the tour. And I just turned to him and I was like, you know what? I'm actually not going home. And oh. he was like, what? Uh, See, a lot, like, of, yeah. a lot of Brits do that. A lot of backpackers come out and they stay and you've just done it the, the right done, way. Exactly. Well, it's, it's, the, it's got similar vibe to London and a similar yeah. vibe to New York. But as I said, you've got the best weather. You know? yeah. Are you close with your dad? Because I noticed in your bio that mm-hmm. you've written a few songs for him. How does yes. that go? Oh, well, it's really awesome. Me and my dad are really, really tight. You know, like um, I used to travel with him as a kid, like on these tours and stuff. I wouldn't sing and stuff. I'd just be like on tour as a kid, just mm. running around. Yeah, but we're really tight. I've written songs for him and we've toured for the past like three years. Like. Mm. I do backing vocals for him, and yeah, he, great. You know, and he if pushed me to the front. If you don't know, it's it's Maxi Priest is, yes, is your sir. father, right? And yes. uh, you'd know this song. So that's your father, and you grew up with that, and then you decided to sort of go down the music. Yeah, well, yourself. yeah, like I said, it was about three years ago. Um, no, sorry, end of 2007, and I, I said to my dad, um, take me on tour, I want to try it out. And he was like, oh, what are you going to do? I was like, let me sing, you know. So um, he let me do backing vocals, and then after a while, when my confidence got better, yeah. he started pushing me to the front of the stage. Doing and your own that's thing, good. taking over yeah, for the dad. It was hey, awesome. Uh, look, the real test of an Australian is Vegemite. Oh, I can't do it. You've been yeah, here for a can. while now. Oh my, I can't do it. You can't I do really it at all? I really cannot do it. No. Nope. A little bit? No, just none. Have to, just have to lick the, no, I, the Honestly, <laughs> it might make me throw up. Veg, me and Veggie might just it's don't just, mix. It's just salty. All right, look, I, I do feel like a little think, bit, a yeah, little okay. lick. Oh, God. There you go. Oh right, God. and now because Emma's given you <laughs> a hard time, <laughs> she's going to do the rest. Mm-mm. In your oh, mouth. All of it. In your mouth, Emma. Oh my god! <laughs> now that's I Australian. Love Vegemite. I can't do it. It's really, really. It's do you a... need Marmite though? No, I don't no? do Vegemite. Oh my, Vegemite's actually so better good. than Marmite. Yeah, but mm-hmm. I can't do either. It's not that's my right because no. you do have Marmite in the UK. Uh, Americans though, they've got none of it. They have no idea what this no, stuff is. No, 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 no. Because because no. they eat really well, don't they? Well, that's like <laughs> the biggest chunk of Vegemite I've ever eaten. Oh, look, you're up. Your song, uh, your new one, "Take Me Away" with mm-hmm. Winter Gordon, mm-hmm. absolutely going off. The video clip is kind of like a mini movie. Did you come up with all that? Well, no. Um, it was partly um, the director, a guy called Matt Alonzo. Um, you know, he's done a few big videos in America and stuff. It was kind of his idea and someone from the label, they come up with the idea and I, I just really liked it. I was like, yeah. Yeah, let's just do it, man. You know, I got to wear a suit for once and yeah. stuff. It was pretty slick. And get nice and close to Winter, who's a total babe. Oh, yeah. yeah. And lovely girl too. <laughs> oh, gorgeous and great to work with. I had a great mm. vibe with her in the studio and on set, she was awesome as well. Uh, are we you single? Because she's single. She's looking. Uh, I don't Are you looking? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> He's a free agent. I'm a free agent, but I mean, we, we had a... We, we, it was a... An intimate kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah lots well, you, of chemistry. You don't want to wor- sleep with the person you're working with, do you, Emma? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Marry, maybe. Yeah. Not, not sleep with. Not sleep with. Wow. <laughs> um, now, in the song, mm-hmm. Take Me Away, there's a lyric that goes, I'm not afraid to get burned. Yes. Are you often spontaneous and go for the bad girls? Um. Yeah. Well, I, I like bad girls. Yeah. yeah. I'm not really a good girl kind of person, you know. They're, They're a bit too boring. boring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like action. I like it. I like action. Not too crazy, though. Nothing too mm. crazy. But yeah. Yeah. A, a little bit like out there without being... 
too over yeah, the top. Yeah, I don't want a bunny boiler. Nothing yeah. like that. <laughs> a what? A, a bunny, bunny boiler. boiler. It's a What's chick. A bunny boiler. Well, how do you oh, explain it? Well, no, uh, uh, what do you, you explain? Uh, do you remember that there was a movie out um, with Glenn Close and Michael Douglas? Mm. Uh, yeah. Fatal Attraction. Fatal yeah, yeah. Attraction. That is what you classify as a bunny boiler. Because if you in the movie, she actually gets Boils the bunny and bunny. boils the bunny. Yeah. So a she's lie. a crazy psycho. Yes, yeah, she's just oh a psycho God. and leaves it in the house like you know. Yeah. It's what you call a bunny boiler. But at the start. She's like great in bed. It, she's exactly. Hot. She's, she's interesting. Perfect. Oh, so she turns into this side. Yeah. Side and that's what a bunny yeah. boiler is. Ah, there right. you go. Got it, got it, yes. got it, got it. Um, on your blog we were reading, uh, mm -hmm. there was a girl comparing you to Tayo Cruz and, and Jason Derulo. How does that make you feel? Do you want to be compared to people? Well, Are you flattered? No, or? It's, it, oh, great, because they're great artists, you know. Yeah. But yeah. also, I'm my own artist. But I can understand why they would say that, because, the, you know, some of the music, the beats and stuff are similar to their kind of stuff. It has a similarity. But yeah. what I do is um, I use my influences, like coming from my family coming from the Caribbean mm -hmm. and my family coming from London. Like I use their influences and put it in the music. Like you can hear and mm -hmm. take me away. I'm doing like some toasting kind of Jamaican kind of stuff yeah. which is completely different as to what they would do you know yep. so there is a difference but I do understand what they're saying yeah and you appreciate the feed the, oh, the compliment yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a compliment now in light of your song Take Me Away mm -hmm. what's your favourite takeaway <laughs> ooh well I'd have to say in I'd have to say here I'd have to say Mexican I really like Mexican what in in, in, Australia. in Australia? Yes. So like, I've never been impressed by the Mexican. Uh, well, I like it. I like it. I've got this restaurant in Newtown. Um, mm. It's right in the corner and I go there practically every week. Oh, there it's you go. It's pretty awesome. And what's your favourite Mexican dish? Mm. Burrito? No. I wouldn't say burritos. I'd say, what would I say? Mm. I'd, all right, burritos. It would have to be then. Good point. Good you've, point. You've not been impressed by any of our fish and chip takeaway. Oh, or no, come on, man. I, I'm from England. How could yeah. I? Like, yeah, we can't. You got, no, you got great fish here because yeah. you know you're near the sea or whatever, yeah. whatever. But I mean, fish and chips in England, we eat out in newspapers and stuff. You do. It's the, it's the best way. Come on. It's weird, isn't it? Because you get like even this flavor of the newspaper like the print. Yeah. You get it on the fish and chips, mm -hmm. don't you? But that's all part of it. Yeah, like, yeah. That's part and parcel of it. <laughs> oh, look, Marvin Priest, great to have you living in Australia. Great to have you releasing thank some you uh, awesome much. music that we are playing the crap out of oh, thank here you, on thank The Edge. You, you guys have been awesome, in. man. Like You've done well with Own This Club and now take me away. Yeah. Me. It's great. We own it. Thanks, we man. own it. <laughs> thank you, Marvin. No problem. Thank you.